Welcome back to the deep dive. Today we are undertaking a, a really critical deep dive into something that frankly determines whether your advertising budget is investment or you know just expensive guesswork. Yeah. We're talking about professional conversion tracking. Yeah. Here is the, well, the unvarnished truth we pulled from the source material. If you are running an ad campaign without robust tracking, it's like flying an airplane in a storm with no instruments. Mm -hmm. You are spending money, you're burning fuel, but you have zero idea if you're moving toward your destination or just spiraling into the ocean. Exactly. And that feeling of flying blind, that's really what we want to eliminate for you today. A conversion, just to be clear in the simplest terms, is just that valuable action you want a potential customer to take. Right. Uh, maybe filling out a contact form, requesting a demo, or you know, buying a product. The actual goal. Or the now. actual goal. And our mission here is to demystify the professional method for tracking those wins using three free, powerful Google tools. Mm -hmm. We want to give you that instrument panel you need to navigate successfully. Okay, let's unpack this ecosystem then, because this is where I think most people get intimidated, right? But understanding the specific roles of these three tools is like the core aha moment. It really is. We need Google Ads, Google Analytics 4, we'll call it GA4, and Google Tag Manager or GTM. Right. And we should use the analogies from the sources mm. because this relationship, this dynamic between them, it's everything. First, let's talk about the one that actually sits on your site and collects the information. Google Analytics GA4. Okay. We call it the librarian. The librarian. So its job, its mandate then is just simple observation, watching what happens. Precisely. The librarian sits there quietly recording every relevant event on the website, who visits, what specific pages they look at, and crucially, where they came from. Ah. You know, was it a Google ad, a Facebook post, an organic search result? It just keeps that comprehensive permanent record of site behavior. Got it. Okay, librarian is keeping the records. Next, we introduce the piece that, that really elevates this to a professional standard. Google Tag Manager, GTM. This is the postman. Mm -hmm. Now, I know many listeners might think, why the postman? Why not just jump straight to the finish line? Isn't GTM just adding another layer of complexity? Wouldn't it be faster to put the ads code straight onto the website? And that's a great question. And it really gets to the strategic heart of why pros use GTM. Well, yeah, it might seem like an extra step at first. The postman doesn't store data. Its only job is to pick up those messages, the tags, and deliver them instantly. Oh. Connecting your website to all external tools, not just Google Ads. So it's the central switchboard, the hub. It is the central switchboard. And that's the strategic payoff, you see. GTM creates a single central hub for all your marketing tags. Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, you name it. Okay. If you try to stick code directly on your site every single time you want to change one tracking setting or add a new pixel, maybe for Facebook. Right, you have to call the developer again. Exactly. You have to modify your website's fundamental code. GTM eliminates that entire workflow. You only have to touch your website code once, ever. Just once. Just once. Establishing a scalable professional foundation right from the start. Okay, that context makes all the difference. We use GTM for efficiency and scale, not just because it's another tool. Absolutely. Yeah. And then finally, we have Google Ads. This is the customer. The customer. The customer spending the budget, right? Right. And it desperately needs the postman, GTM, to deliver the message when a conversion happens. So it knows what's working. So it knows what's working and can properly optimize its bidding strategy. It needs that feedback loop. Perfect. Okay, librarian, postman, customer. Got the roles. Now let's get into part one, building the foundation. This starts with GTM installation. Right. And the sources are clear. This step may be intimidating because of the word installation, but this is the only time you should ever need to touch your website's code again. That's the key takeaway. You create your GTM account and it hands you two small pieces of JavaScript code. You install those, one in the head and one in the body tag of your website. And yeah, there are specific platform guides available for WordPress, Shopify, Wix, whatever you're using. Right. But once that's done, GTM, the postman, is your gatekeeper. You could theoretically lock your developer out of your website's back end forever, at least for tracking purposes. Huh. Okay. So the postman is ready at the gate. Now we need to bring the librarian GA4 into the system so it can start observing traffic. How do we install this uh, this robust analytics tool through our new central hub, GTM? Okay, so the process starts inside your GA4 account first. You need to find your unique identifier, which is the measurement ID. Measurement ID, got it. Copy that, that's your key. All right, ID coppered, 
Now, what's the next technical step inside GTM itself? Okay, back in GTM now, you create a new tag. You select Google Analytics from the list and specifically choose the GA4 configuration tag. Configuration tag, okay. Then you paste in that measurement ID you just copied, yeah. and this is the crucial nuance, the part we really need to cover. Yeah. You set this tag to fire on the trigger, all pages. All pages. Now, why is that configuration tag so essential, and why must it fire first on every single page? Great question. That configuration tag, it does the heavy lifting, is what actually loads the foundational GA4 library file onto the page. Ah. And it initiates the tracking cookies. Yeah. So if the configuration tag doesn't fire first, none of your subsequent event tags, like tracking a button click or a lead submission, they won't work. They won't know how to report data back to your GA4 account. It's the absolute prerequisite for everything else to function correctly. Got it. So with just one simple tag set up through GTM, we've basically installed a really powerful analytics tool across the entire site. Exactly. And we can immediately start seeing where all our traffic ads, direct, social, organic is coming from. Foundation built. Exactly. You are already right there miles ahead of the average advertiser just by doing that. Okay, good start. Now on to part two. Defining the moment of success, the conversion event itself. We need to tell the librarian and the postman exactly what winning looks like for us. And according to the sources, the cleanest, most reliable method, especially for tracking leads, seems to be the thank you page. Yes, this is really critical for getting reliable data, particularly for say B2B or service-based businesses. Instead of the form just disappearing or showing a tiny success message on the same page. Which can be hard to track accurately. Very hard. Instead, you redirect the user to a unique, dedicated URL right after they hit submit. Something like mywebsite.com forward slash thank you. That unique URL becomes our unmistakable signal of success. A clear finish line. Okay, so now we need to tell the librarian, GA4, that a visit to that specific unique page is actually a conversion. How do we set those rules inside the GA4 interface? Right, so now we jump back into GA4. You go to admin then find events. We're basically creating a new event here, effectively teaching the librarian a new word for when. Okay. Mm -hmm. Click create event, yeah. and you set the condition. You're looking for specific behavior, right? Yeah. The condition is when the parameter page location contains thank you. Hold on, page location. For listeners who maybe don't spend their day inside GA4 dashboards, what exactly does that parameter mean? What is page location? Good point. Yeah, need to connect the jargon back to the concept. Yeah. Page location is simply the URL address of the page the user is currently viewing. Ah, just the web address. Just the web address. When the librarian GA4 records an event, it records dozens of details about it, loads of parameters. One of those is the exact URL the user is on at that moment. Okay. So we're telling it, hey, specifically watch for visits where the URL address contains our success marker. Thank you. That makes perfect sense. So we're using that highly specific address as the trigger. Very clean. Exactly. Very clean, very reliable. You then give that new event a clear, specific name. The sources suggest something like generate lid. Okay, generate lid. And then the final, absolutely non-negotiable step. Back in the GA4 admin section, under conversions, you find your newly created generate lid event and you toggle it on. You mark it as a conversion. Ah, you have to explicitly tell GA4, this event counts. You have to explicitly tell it. Now, GA4 knows the official rules of success for your business. All right. So we've got a librarian tracking the successful action reliably using the thank you page, but the customer Google Ads still doesn't know about it, right? Correct. Still flying blind from the ads perspective. Which brings us to part three, connecting the dots. How do we make sure Google Ads actually registers that specific conversion event, the generate lead one, and uses it for optimization? This is the final link that closes the loop. Inside your Google Ads account now, you need to navigate to Tools and Settings. Then under Setup, find Linked Accounts. Linked Accounts, okay. And you need to find Google Analytics, GA4, and authorize the connection to your specific GA4 property. Basically tell them it's okay to talk to each other. Build the bridge between them. Yep. And once that bridge is built, what's next? Once they're linked, you go back to Tools and Settings in Google Ads, but this time under Measurement, you click Conversions. Okay. You click the New Conversion Action button and choose Import. Select Google Analytics for Properties, then Web. Ah, so you're pulling the data from GA4. Exactly. And because you properly defined and marked Generate Lead as a conversion inside GA4 in the previous step, it will automatically appear right there in the list of goals available to import. Nice. You just select it, click Import, and Continue. It's, it's basically it. 
Just like that, Google Ads is now fully aware of your generate lead conversion and is set up to optimize your campaigns to spend your money specifically targeting users likely to complete that action. Wow. Okay, so this setup really delivers a massive strategic payoff, doesn't it? This is where the real value is unlocked. Absolutely. And so strategic value is, well, it's consistency. GA4 is now your single source of truth for conversions. Single source of truth. I like that. It measures conversions consistently, no matter where the traffic came from. So the lead that came from that expensive Google ad keyword and the lead that came totally free from an organic search result. Yeah. They are both measured using the exact same standard. Wow. The generate lead event triggered by hitting that thank you page. This consistency gives you a crystal clear, completely unbiased picture of what's truly working across your entire marketing stack. That consistent measurement must remove so much guesswork and probably a lot of internal squabbling about which channel is really driving results. Oh, absolutely. It settles those arguments with data. And crucially, we must emphasize the safety check here. Okay, what's that? Before you launch any serious campaign spend based on this, always, always use GTM's preview mode after you publish your changes in GTM. Preview mode? Yes. It opens up a debug window that connects to your browser. You can then browse your own website, fill out your form, hit the thank you page. And watch what happens. And watch in the debug window to visually confirm that your generally tag fires only when you land on that thank you page. Make sure it's not firing accidentally, say, when someone just lands on your homepage or clicks some random button. Ah, quality control. Essential quality control. If you skip this check, you could launch a whole campaign optimizing towards broken or inaccurate data. That's wasted money. Good point. Very important yeah. safety step. Okay, right. let's just take a moment to absorb this. We've definitely covered some highly technical ground here. But you, the listener, if you followed along, you have just installed the most critical piece of infrastructure for your advertising machine. Mm -hmm. You now have a professional grade scalable tracking system that allows you to measure true return on investment. That is a significant achievement. And honestly, it puts you way ahead of, I'd say, 90% of advertisers out there. It really does. And think about the implications now of having this reliable instrument panel on your plane. Yeah. You've got this crystal clear cross-channel performance data for that key conversion generate lead. Right. So this raises, I think, an important question for you to consider. Now that you can see the verified true ROI from all your sources, Google ads, maybe Facebook ads, organic search, email, whatever, yeah. how does seeing that data, that truth, fundamentally change the next marketing tactic you decide to invest in. You can stop operating on hunches or assumptions and start allocating your budget precisely where you know it will succeed based on hard data. That knowledge really is power, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. And with tracking now firmly established, we're actually ready to get creative. Yeah, the fun part. Exactly. Our sources tell us the next logical step in building out these campaigns is diving into the kind of the creative heart of it all focusing on how to find the right keywords that attract actual buyers, not just tire kickers. Buyers, not browsers. Buyers, not browsers, exactly. And also how to write compelling ad copy that ensures they actually click your ad when they see it. Yeah, really looking forward to guiding you through those steps next time. So the rubber meets the road for campaign performance. Fantastic. We'll see you then for the next deep dive.